G'day legends. For those that don't know me, my name is Tom Woods and I've been a professional water photographer for over 20 years now and I'm also mentoring fellow water photographers through my online courses to some epic crew worldwide. We'll have more details on this at the end of the video. Today, I am a happy man because I am sitting here with my brand new Aquatec Edge Housing. I have been using this model with my R5 on and off since its release to provide some feedback and make content. So I'm pretty familiar with it, but now I finally have my very own version of the new Edge housing from Aquatech. It took me longer than I thought to finally invest in this one as my old housing was working perfectly fine and still is. But I was running the old 5D Mark III in that one and now I get to take my R5, which is the newish camera from Canon, into the water and I've got to tell you, it's a major upgrade. These housings really do last forever. My very first Aquatech housing is still being used by a Grom in my old hometown and that thing has got to be close to 20 years old now. So this video isn't a review on the Edge housing. I have already done a review and you can find that back in my YouTube archives from about a year ago. So look that up for the specific review. This video is instead on the reasons I choose Aquatech over any other brand. This is the question I literally get asked every day on Instagram DMs, which is which housing do I buy? And it's sometimes a tough one to answer, but by asking a few questions, it will reveal what the best type of housing will fit your workflow. And today I want to go through a few of those questions you need to ask yourself before investing one way or another. I'm obviously a fan of Aquatech for reasons you will find out in this video, but I'm also very aware of the great companies and humans around the globe that are making high-end, high-end, high-level functioning water housings. And sometimes these brands may be a little bit better fit for you. So the idea of this video is to help you work out which way to jump with your housing brand. So this is the eight reasons I have continued to invest in Aquatech housings. The number one reason for my workflow is using a flash. I don't use a flash for too much of my surf photography, but I do use flash in the water with a lot of my commercial photography for brands and businesses. Now, most of the brands do offer flash in their water housings, but a fair few of them build the flash into the housing as a whole. So whether you are using a flash or not, you're swimming with a way bigger housing than you need to, or you need to a separate housing for the flash work than you do for your non-flash work and carrying two housings around is not an option that I would like to entertain. The flash system with Aquatech are also set up to run off camera cords to take the flash away from the regular mount on top of the housing. This allows you to light up under the water in a split level situation and that's something that's super handy as underneath the surface is generally darker. Taking the flash off the top of the camera makes more dynamic lighting while on top of the camera is generally a flatter looking result. Even if you don't use flash at all right now, by going with Aquatech, you have this option down the track as it can always be added to your setup. And if you want to take your water photography to a pro level, then certain shoots will require flash. Aquatech also offer remote trigger housings to give you the ability to fire multiple flash guns at once. And this is a really fun thing to experiment with and set yourself apart from the pack. There's so much more about the use of flash with housings, but let's just cut it off there and state that Aquatech is definitely leading the way in water housings with uh, flash photography. And this is a strong reason why I'm still using them for my work. Number two is that Aquatech's versatility. The actual housing is the same throughout their models. So this is the housing for the Canon R5, but if I wanted to use a Sony mirrorless camera in it, then I would, wouldn't need to get a whole new housing for it. I would just need to get a conversion kit, which comprises of mainly just the back plate, and I will be able to change, change that over or convert your R5 to the Canon R6. The lens ports are also the same. The thread to screw into your lens ports to any Aquatec housing have been exactly the same for the last three generations of Aquatec housing. So interchanging all the gear is fairly seamless and compatible for the most part. And this has helped me a lot in the past. The number three reason is resale. Aquatec is well known and respected brand in the industry. So when putting up the old gear for sale, there is an immediate trust in the product. As mentioned in point two, the fact that their gear is so compatible with lens ports and extra Extras like pistol grips and mounts will make it easier for you to move your gear. And because the gear lasts so long, the resale value will still be pretty high. 
Number four is autofocus. The pistol grip trigger and the regular top focus button is so responsive and accurate. To people that haven't done much water photography before, let me tell you, this is a huge advantage in the water where focusing is much harder than it is on land. Having a system that gets it right is so crucial when capturing that decisive moment in the surf. That hero shot you missed will be worth more than the housing costs in some cases. So using a brand that will give me the best chance of nailing the hero shot is the, the utmost importance. Personally, I cannot compromise on the autofocus at all. I need the very best. Number five is the massive range of lens ports to fit pretty much every lens. They even made new ports when Canon brought out the massive uh, 11 to 24. I don't think there is a lens out there that won't somehow fit in the Aquatec uh, lens ports. And if there is, it's going to be a pretty obscure one. The extender system is great and I use them all the time. So I only need one flat port and one dome port and then use their range of extenders to fit all of my lenses. And as I mentioned earlier, the lens ports will cross over to their entire range of housings for the last three generations. So even if you swap your housing type over, like I did recently, all of your older lens ports will still be good to go. Number six is reliability. Never missed a beat, never had a leak. Over 20 years of shooting in the water, Aquatec has kept all my cameras dry. I know that a drowned camera with any brand happens from time to time, but from the stories I've heard, it's almost always been user error, whether that is with an Aquatec or any of the other type of brands. But the fact that I have done literally thousands of water shoots with this brand and had no incidents, then I'm gonna stick to the brand that has had me covered for so long. Number seven is new orders are delivered super quick. I got this housing in two days from making the online order. The housing service turnaround in Australia, anyway, is super speedy and well-priced. And I know the team in Australia with Isaac and Eden, they're both super knowledgeable and connected with what the water photographers want and the challenges that they face. Having good people inside the brand is key uh, to loyalty for me. And that's another reason why I'm still with them. Number eight, and let's make this the final one for today, is the way they feel in your hands. You're gonna be gripping onto these things in challenging conditions at times and having that comfort in your hands surprisingly makes a huge difference. I feel like they have done a ton of research and testing to get this right. I've picked up many housings over the years and they just don't feel as good in the hands. And this can lead to fatigue in the water during long sessions. When the water's cold, when the day's getting long, you'll be glad to have an ergonomically designed housing with you. And I've got to say, that it's even better with the new edge housing. So I definitely encourage you to do your own research and see which aspects are important to you. Obviously, I can only come from my own perspective and from the feedback I get from my water photographer uh, course members and peers. And that perspective is what I have offered you today. If you are keen to invest in the Aquatec gear, you can use my special discount codes that will get you 10% off and save me a few hundred dollars or more on a housing setup. The codes to use are um, to get the Aquatec discount. Uh, the general code for most of the time is AF-TomWoods-AUS. The code when Aquatec, uh, Aquatec sale on, uh, so you can get free shipping is af dash Tom Woods dash sale and Aquatec also make housings for iPhones so you can check them out on the website and this is the code for them specifically. The code to for the iPhone Access Go housings is AF dash Tom Woods dash AUS dash AG. Thanks for tuning in. Please comment below with questions or suggestions. If you do want to uh, further explore what I have to offer with my water photography online workshops, the links will be below, including a link to the free water photography workshop. There will be links to the Aquatec gear as well. And I'll put the codes below. So if you didn't catch them in the video, you can get them. Thanks again for tuning in and um, we'll talk soon. Yeah.